Gaming. I'm your host, the Below Average Gamer, today in How to Hello Miners. That is this episode of Below Average Gaming. We're talking about How to Hello Miners. Pretty easy. We are in ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba, Minecraft. Hello, sexy. How are you doing? I don't know how you look or anything like that, so it can't be uh, it can't be objectifying you because I don't know how you actually look. So don't sue me, please. I have no money. Anyway, today we are in Hello Miners. I've been doing the contest, as most of you know who play on the server. Um, to give me ideas for what to do for another episode. So, if you play on the server, you went to this page here. Blah, 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 blah. Hoping that's showing. There we go. That's what I want. Ooh, look at that. It's completely blank. Wow. So, anyway, let's hop back over here. Should have tested that before I started. But I pretty much put up the idea and said, you know, 1,000 forcels in-game to anyone who comes up with a good idea for me to record for an episode of how to hello miners and the winner from what i've chosen the person who i think had a good idea is blue shadow 2002 blue shadow 2002 thank you for your idea um blue shadow 2002 writes i think an episode all about cities would be great how to make a city good deals on plots and what to look for and popular cities or good cities for beginners are you doing qualified immunity no idea what that is but yeah, I'm going to show you guys pretty much, um, if you're starting a city, uh, how to get started with that. Because a lot of people get on and their first thought is, wait a minute. Oh, no. Um, what? What is this? Qualified immunity. Police? I have no idea what's happening there. Probably something going on the server that I wasn't paying attention about. But whatever! Let's move on back to the thing. I'm going to show you guys how to get started with a city because a lot of people join the server and their first thought is, man, I want to make a city. I want to be in charge. Uh, well, actually, their first thought is, hey, can I be a mod? Can I be a mod? How do I become admin? Where's staff? How do I become a mod? And then when we're like, you can't be a mod, um, just like that. If you want to be a mod or staff member, you have to show through experience that you are good for the job. Oh, my gosh, what's happening to me? <sighs> you have to show that you're a good um, for the job. Hello. Can I hit you? There's a skeleton under there. Take care of that real quick. But yeah, um, and then once they find out, like, oh, I have to actually work to become a staff member? I can't just ask? What kind of server is this? Oh my gosh, this sucks. This, this server sucks. I'm going to quit forever, and I'm going to tell all my friends to not ever join this server again. Because mm -hmm, I'm mad. Anyway, after all that, some people will actually go and they say, I'm going to start my own city. And so they do that because they want to be an owner. They want to be in charge. People like being in charge. And luckily for you, I have a city. Now, I'm not saying it's the best city. I'm not saying it's a perfect city. I'm not saying any of that. But I am saying I've started a few cities in my day. So, step number one. When you're going to make a city, outline the, the basic layout. Okay? You're going to need a lot of things in order to do that. And that's probably the most utensils and most resources that you're going to use. Is you're going to need to make some sidewalk. People love sidewalk. People like there being definition and order to things. So as you can see here, there's this nice little sidewalk. Even fencing in this little parky area. But fencing in each of these plots kind of makes a nice little divide. Um, but you're going to want this to make it just so there's some division between the street and the plot itself. You're going to want some sidewalks. Again, I'm not saying a perfect method for making a city, but I've noticed a lot of cities have that sidewalk type design. Next, you're going to want roads. Most people use black or dark gray roads. I used cobblestone as an experiment, and after a while I had a couple people, you know, saying, hey, you know, not really feeling the roads. Uh, cobble makes it look not professional, makes it look like you didn't have enough money, whatever. Uh, so I would suggest make your, 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 your streets black or gray. Now there are exceptions to this. Some of the exceptions to this would be, um, I would say Villaville, which is a city on the server that you can go to and get a little home. I believe the roads are actually brick there. And the reason for that is because the entire look, the entire design, everything for that city is designed to have a specific look. And their specific look is to have the brick roads. It looks almost like a Spanish um, housing area where their, their streets are made of brick it's made of like that crisscross material but that, that's all i'm saying is have ooh, looking to be a board member of a company 
<laughs> not with that attitude, you're not. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, make sure that you have a specific idea in mind. Maybe, instead of a city, you're wanting, there's a TARDIS, you're wanting to make a housing development. Or a housing area, like Pelican Hills. Now, some stuff about that is really good, because then you, you don't have to worry about shops having proper spots, and homes having proper spots, and people making incorrect buildings in the right spot, or, hey, that doesn't look... If it looks like a house, it's good. If it doesn't look like a house, get it the heck out of there. That's pretty easy. So housing developments are really, really good. So think before you go. I know what a lot of you are thinking. I know what you're thinking right now is, well, I'm just going to make one thing with both. I'm going to let anyone build whatever they want, because as long as I get money... I'm happy as a clam clam clone clam clone. Happy as a clone of a clam. Not the real clam, but the clone one. And you know what? Here's the thing with that is if you're going to do both, I suggest, strongly suggest, that you have some experience with cities. Because doing both is a little, oh, it's a little frustrating. Trust me. City owning is insane. It's one of the, the hardest things to do on the server, in my opinion. Just because there's so many levels to it. You have to deal with evictions, which I haven't done in a long time, because they're boring. It's a lot of hard work. You have to deal with making sure that your city looks nice. Make sure with advertising. Basically, any job that you would have in the server, um, combine all those jobs together, and that's a city. Okay? You do some work of mods and admins and making sure that your people who live there are happy. Making sure that you're getting them apartments. Making sure you're getting them houses. Making sure that you're able to region things for them. You know? Um, stuff like that. So you do some of the work of mods and admins. Now, not all of it. Mods and admins have very difficult jobs. But I'm just saying, you know, there's some comparison there. You also have to do the same as a shop owner. And that, I mean, you have to advertise your, your space. You need to advertise your city. You need to make it look nice. You need to make it look welcoming. And there's also the fact that you have to make um, connections in the nether. You have to work with other players. You actually have to talk to other people about... Um, Making those connections, getting those tunnels working. Now I can show you here. Do do do. Let's go into my tunnel. Ooh, here we come. Spooky, spooky. What the heck? What penguin? What are you doing here? I'm gonna follow what penguin real quick. Do 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 do. Don't tell anyone. Shh, keep quiet. Oh, he's gonna see me. What penguin, what are you doing here? Who told you about my, my my secret project that I'm working on? Why are you here? Oh my gosh, he lives. He's moving. What penguin, my buddy, my pal, my friend. How's it going? How's it hanging? What is this? Oh, what penguin's house? This is your home. What penguin, you live here. Hey. Yo. <laughs> I should let him know. Everyone who watches my videos knows where you live now. Yeah, Rooney. Anyway, yeah, so here, here is... I just stepped out of it, but... Let me go back in here. Boop, boop. This tunnel, it's big. It takes up a lot of space. And here's the thing. It overlaps a couple other tunnels. Meaning that I had to work with other players to get this here. Okay? And then I was able to open up these to other players. I was built... I built my city... Right next to... Was it the shout out? Yes. Um, right next to another city. Meaning, I, I have to work with the fact that I'm near someone else. You know? A lot of stuff, like I said, a lot of stuff goes into it. So here, if you look, boop, 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 there's another tunnel there that I'm actually going over. Here's another tunnel here that I'm going over. Yes, video time. I'm working with Epsilon Entertainment with this tunnel here. Um, can't tell you how yet. This is the Desert City Hub, meaning that I had to talk to the owner of Desert City Hub, who's never on, if I can say that, um, to get me a spot here. A good spot. A close spot. Just to say, you know, just to maintain that players can come and it's easy to get to my place, which is really important. You don't want players having to go drastic miles super far away to get to your space so always have another tunnel but another tunnels are difficult to get to because you have to talk to people so like i said understand what is the video name like to purchase the vc plot 15k 
Anyway, have, have a, uh, having a city is a lot more difficult than people assume. Is a lot. To, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm making a deal. I'm selling something right now, but it's a lot more difficult than people assume. Just because you know, you you want everyone wants. To, uh, what's that song? That song says everybody wants to rule the world, but in reality, no one knows exactly what that means. It means that you're evicting people. It means that you're working with other players more than most players do. It means that you're working with being in charge of things, which a lot of people, like I said, want to be in charge, but they don't understand the things that come with it. i got to remove this because otherwise I'm going to get banned for selling it. That's mine. There we go. R15K, please. I swear, if he's only buying this from me because he wanted that hat, nice. Okay. All right. What is this ball plot? RG. Uh. RG add owner Bob Lot Alex so and such. There you go. Enjoy, friend pal Reno. Have fun time. But anyway, like I was saying, you know, it's really difficult to own a city. It's every possible confusing frustrating thing that you can have with playing the game or having any role on the server at all combined into one thing y yes it makes you a lot of money but in my opinion to be completely honest with you as someone who's owned a couple different cities before it's not you know, the stress of owning a city and the fun of owning a city and the money you make are not even in any way But I digress. You know, I had to go on a little rant while I told you all that stuff there. Well, I got that stuff done. But here's the housing area. Here's that. Whatever. Okay, I talked about step one. Step one is laying out your city. And then I went on a crazy tangent. Step one is laying out your city, making sure that you understand the roads, making sure you understand placement. Here's the thing. You want a good setup of small plots and large plots. Now, if I can, if I can tell you anything I've learned from Icon City here, I would put small plots at the front, at the entrance of the city, and larger plots as you go back. Because if you look at my skyline here, first off, beautiful. I've, I've worked very hard. Thank you. Thank you. No, it's fine. Stop clapping. You're embarrassing yourself and me. But um, if you look at my skyline here, I have some of these giant buildings actually blocking the view of some of my smaller buildings. And if you want a nice skyline, you got to put those small buildings first and the large buildings further back. It makes your city look nicer, makes it look less crowded, makes it look a little bit better spaced out. So do that. You know, make your smaller plots up front, make your larger plots in, as you go further back. Okay? That's just a little tip. But, you know, your portal, you have to make sure your portal looks nice. This was the original portal area. I didn't like it. It wasn't fun. Really difficult. So, I moved the portal here. So now you got this nice little fountain. You got the airport that I never opened just because airports cost a ton of money that I'll get to later. You got everything here. And then you got this nice little walkway. Okay? I even did this nice little thing. I think I'm the only one who has this, but it's a little chime. It actually plays the Gravity Falls theme song uh, if you walk over this space. Really cool. Just thought it was something interesting, something fun. Wow, Stern. Didn't need to know that. <laughs> what? What's happening? What? What's going on? The naked part? Oh, he's watching one of my old videos. Ha ha ha, I'm naked every time I record a video. It's my lucky charm. Uh, I was going to say something, a joke, but it's horribly offensive and horribly dirty. A little bit racist, um, to be completely honest with you. So I'm not going to say it. Anyway, um, you want to have that. Next up is very important, probably the most important part of owning a city. You need to have rules that are very clear. Okay? These rules, I've worked a lot. Like These rules were made after understanding some failed cities that I've worked on, understanding some rules that made it very difficult to get rid of people and to get people into plots. So these, just just look at other cities, if I can say that. Look at other cities, look at rules that work. If I could give you a good example, I would say Sudbury. Look at Sudbury city rules and Icon. Um, I would say Icon to you, not to toot my own horn, but I, I think that these rules work very well. But if anything, if I'm not going to toot my own horn at Icon, not the toot toots, um, I would say look at Sudbury. Sudbury City in, in Minecraft Hello Miners has a very good rule layout. And um, if I'm going to say look anywhere else, look at the forum rules. 
that's a good little precursor that I put on whenever I make a city on my rule board is any rules that don't fall on here fall to uh, server rules just kind of covers you on everything on all edges just to be safe now here's uh, something that you're gonna have to understand about owning a city when you own a city people are gonna mooch off you people are gonna think hey you know I could make money off of their city too without actually paying to have a city and I'm gonna show you here this is an expansion that I have of my city as you can see more buildings go this way um, here but once you actually exit the city you can see over there a little bit but once you exit the city there are more buildings now these buildings are not part of my city these buildings are moochers squatters I should say I think squatters is a good word they uh, mo moochers is a good word too see this person whoever this is this monster oh look it's not even regent um, just built houses out in the middle of nowhere why they put them here oh that's super easy that's because I have portals in my city like I said like I said part of like rule one um, well not rule one but a little little tidbit little tip that I gave earlier was making sure your city is easily accessible well this part of the wild is easily accessible due to my portals in my city so a lot of people will build homes out here they'll build whatever and just because it's close they're gonna mooch off you they're gonna squat on you now you can do a lot to to stop that you can make tall walls you can make um, fences you can do any of that Trump Trump style stuff but you know there's really nothing you can do to stop it from happening other than enclosing the entire city in a giant glass dome there's nothing that you can do to 100 percent keep squatters out of the out, outer rim of your city so just be aware of that it's something you have to deal with people have dealt with it in different ways I had someone who built a building right outside of my city solely to annoy me and they actually told me to my face that they did it solely because they hated me yeah you know you make enemies whatever I'm not I'm not yeah, I'm not mad about it in fact I love it I like when people argue with me so just understand that if you're a person who watches these videos and you're also a dick um, understand that I like to argue with people um, because I win pretty much every time so don't be a dick if that if I can give you that okay but that's uh, that's a free tip for you so yeah like I said oh look, it's a bunny but like I said um you know make sure your rules are very clear understand that people are going to squat and are going to steal your idea of a city and a portal um, they're gonna try to make money off of you as cheaply or as free as possible if I can leave you with one last thing, maintain your eyesores. Icon is a failed city in my eyes. Just because I didn't maintain eyesores. I didn't want to. I got lazy. I sold the plots, made my money, and gave up on the city. So just understand that if you have a city, you need to maintain it. But if I can leave you with just one thing. If I could leave you with just one hint of what it means to run a city, of, of when you start the server and you want to open up a city, don't. That's my one thing. If I could leave you with one thing about owning a city, do not start one. Unless you're ready to commit, unless you're ready. Pretty much if you're retiring from the server, if you just want to stay busy and aren't really caring about having fun in the server, start a city. It's great. It's It takes up a lot of time. You make some okay money on it. But in my opinion, it's not that. It's not as fun as you think it's going to be. Okay, if, I, I, I know that that sounds horrible. It sounds just bad but it's it's the truth it's the most truth that I can give you is that is the fact that if you're gonna start a city understand that it's a lot of work understand that it's not gonna be as much fun as you think it's gonna be you're not gonna get quite as much return on investment okay and um, a couple other little tips whenever you're making a plot I would sell plots for about 10 F a square 10 F a block um, pretty even because the wild is 5f a block and cities are 20f so therefore oh thank it's a bunch of trash do 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 thank you assholes you're great you're fantastic wonderful I hope you all die and rot somewhere very hot and warm but um, yeah if I can just say that make your plots purchasable wantable do stuff in your city have events have fun things that make oh my gosh have fun things that make people want to come have things that make people want to be a part of your community because that's the biggest thing make people making people want to come to your city selling plots is easy but you know evicting getting more people in to fill those plots making sure that the plots that get filled are good making sure they're well stocked making sure that that your city is somewhere that people want to visit that's the hardest thing you know and, and it comes in waves when you're building the city when you're making the layout you're gonna think man this must be the hardest part 
And then comes the part where you sell the plots and you're just making nothing but money and you're going to say, man, this must be the easy part. Then comes evicting people and you're going to say, man, this must be the hardest part. And then it's going to come reselling the plots from the evicted people and you're going to say, this must be the easy part. And then comes the eviction again. So it goes in waves. Um, but if you're thinking about starting a city as soon as you join the server, if your goal is to own a city starting the server, my biggest suggestion is give it time. Learn the server. Learn the economy. Learn the dynamics of the server. And... Uh, before you start the city because otherwise you're just gonna ruin your fun you're gonna not have a great time but that's pretty much it just some tips tricks how to make a city thank you so much blue shadow 2002 for the idea i appreciate you as a watcher as a viewer and i appreciate you guys too for inputting your answers i will have on the forums another topic that will let you win another 1000 i'm going to continually do this just so that i can have like more ideas from you guys see what you want to learn Coming soon, the Grand Adventures of Dr. Jim and Hosts by the Sternator. <laughs> what? Possibly. I mean, for real, just post that on the forum page, and that might be a real thing that we might see. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. I appreciate you so much. You're so damn wonderful. Thank you, and I love you. Bye. What is that? Hi, thank you for watching this video by Below Average Gaming and checking out the channel. Be sure to like the video so that I know that you liked the video, just in case you liked the video. Also, be sure to comment and subscribe so I can see exactly what stuff you're interested in watching and make more of that content. Uh, more stuff like How To Hello Miners, where I show you how to get started in an economy-based server and I have fun while playing Minecraft. Or Electa BuzzFeed, where I play different fan-made uh, Pokemon games as well as fan-made art and just talk about Pokemon theories in general. Also, Sketch Roulette, where I draw items based on different random generators that I find online. Really fun, really cool, and they're all a big part of the Below Average Gaming Network, as well as a lot more. So again, be sure to check out the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. You're the best. Bye.